Today I'd like to do a short presentation on a very beautiful one-key French flute by the maker Jovet, whose uh, first name seems to be Hentz. Uh, Jovet is not someone that most people have heard of. Uh, his instruments are very rare. Uh, and in fact, <clears throat> we're pretty sure that uh, Jovet was not an instrument maker. He was instead a music dealer and an instrument seller. And so these flutes that are marked Jovet were made by some other maker. And uh, a lot of people believe that the most likely maker is Baumann from Paris. There are some special features about the, the two Jovet flutes, which I have in my collection. They both have this uh, very interesting key mount system, which is a, a metal mount that attaches to the wood and the key uh, is held in by that mount. You can see that all four of the keys are the same style held in with these mounts. One thing to, to notice about key mounts is that the earlier style, like on the Baroque flute, the mount was cut into the wood. And so if a maker wanted to make an F key, they had to have um, a bump in the wood and then be able to cut a channel into that to put the key in there. So that made the whole turning process of the flute quite a bit more complicated. And the more keys you had, the more complicated it was to turn and cut the flute and make it work perfectly. So the idea of mounting the keys on the surface was supposedly invented by Claude Laurent, the famous maker of crystal flutes. And uh, these would be quite early examples of uh, other people using this system of attaching keys on the surface of the flute. Eventually, when we get to the 1840s and after that, they just put little posts in and screwed the posts into the wood. Um, previous to that, they, uh, they had posts, but the posts were screwed into metal plates that were put on the flute. And this is an, an earlier example than that, where the whole mount is kind of built around the key. This particular flute, which I'm demonstrating, is a one-key flute, as I said, and it's a um, very, very beautifully made flute. I got it a number of years ago at an auction, and it's taken a couple of years to get it uh, fully restored. It uh, it had problems with the tuning barrel, which is a very normal thing, but in this case, the wood part of this, so there's, there's the, the metal piece of the tuning slide, which goes into the head. In this case, there's not a metal sleeve. Normally on a flute, there's a, a metal sleeve, so it's metal into metal. But in this case, there's, there's wood, and the wood is extremely thin. It's kind of only held together by these ivory rings that support it. But it had quite a number of cracks and actually was in multiple pieces by the time the restorer worked on it. So that was a very challenging thing, and the flute is very delicate. I'm always extremely careful with it when I, when I use it and have it out. It also has a particularly small uh, but very elegant embouchure hole. It's a little bit more oval and a little smaller than the normal embouchure from this time. Um, on my other Jovet flute, which is also quite interesting, um, the embouchure is a little bit bigger, and this flute is quite a bit louder than this one. That smaller embouchure hole limits the sound, but it's got a very pure, uh, pure, beautiful, clear sound. And this is a little more boisterous. This flute is also at a fairly high pitch. Uh, it's, I think I play it about 446, something like that. Whereas this flute, I'm playing around 430 to 432, somewhere in that range. So I'm going to play uh, three different pieces on, uh, on the one key Jovet flute, and then I'm going to play just part of another piece on 
the four key flute to give you an idea of the difference in the sound of that flute. The, this flute is not really restored. It's kind of in original condition, which is quite good, but the keys have original pads, I think, um, and don't work particularly well. So for instance, the, the G sharp is, is not well enough in tune to really use. So the tuning is a little bit wonky on this, but it's still, it's interesting, I think, to compare the sound of these two flutes. I, I hope you enjoy them.